Hello folks, this is Justin with Luck from KSTARS and uh, today I will try to demo a really neat and recent features of ECUS which is the World Coordinate System support. So uh, WCS is simply a way to encode the coordinates of the sky within an image. So once we capture a fits image, the we can have a pixel to write a such declination con conversion process and this will allow us to actually, the end result, which we want to do, is we can look at an image and we can slew anywhere we want within an image. Let's go ahead and demo that so that it's clear. So uh, we'll use the simulators today. So let's go to Tools, ECUS, and let's start the simulators. Let's connect them. And the simulators by default uh, start unfocused, so let's focus them. So now it's doing a, a quick autofocus process here. It's almost done with the autofocusing. Okay. All right. So now if we go to the alignment module, what we find is that we have a new WCAS checkbox, World Coordinate System. And so if you want this feature, we just simply have to click WCAS here. We get a warning or a message saying that the CCD rotation, which is the field of view rotation of the solution of the image itself in the sky, must be set. We either set it manually, which you probably don't want to do, or you want to do that by solving an image. So the first thing you probably want to do is select a star somewhere, and let's solve it and get the rotation of the camera. So let's, uh, let's go there to the star. Okay, let's set the coordinates here, and, uh, and, and I said go to, to nothing because I don't want to do anything, I just want to get the rotation of the field of view. So capturing and solving, so we got a frame here. Okay, so here we get also another notification, we got negative 180 degree east of north rotation. And we got a notification, WCS information updated images captures from this point forward shall have valid WCS. So if we go to the CCD driver, you will find that there is a WCS tab here. And we can see that the CCD FLV rotation was set to the same value we find in the solution, pretty much. So what do we know? What do we do now? Uh, we'll, well, well, we're, we're actually pretty much done. We just have to take an image. Let's, let's take an image here. So we're back to the CCD module. And if we go to the FITS viewer, we'll find that we have now right ascension and declination coordinates within an image. See? So now we can go anywhere. And if you right-click anywhere on the canvas here, you have an option, a small pop-up menu that says center the telescope here. So let's, let's do a quick demo of that. Let's... Uh, so for example, go sync here. Not exactly center, so we'll have Tijat to the off center. Let's capture an image. Okay, so let's also stretch that. So now this is where this is where Tijat move. So in case of we do framing, we sometimes want to center things within an image. So uh, previously we had to either click on the sky map or enter the coordinates manually in the uh, telescope driver. But now it's even much easier. Now just from the image itself, you can go to the target you want, just right click on it, and say center and telescope. And we click that, and voila, we're centered on each other again. You don't believe that? Let's go and take another preview. And there we go. We have to stretch that, we're back again at the center. So this is a very recent feature uh, in ECUS. You can find it in KSR's Bleeding and latest Lip ND. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo and hopefully you can use this feature in your observation runs. Take care and uh, cheers.